Hey, Ed Akers here. Okay, we have finally got, it's been a long time coming <laughs> for any of you who have been waiting on this. Genius Disconnector is out. Okay, a couple of really minor little bugs that will not affect performance hardly at all. Um, so it's ready to go. We'll have those fixed here this week. It'll be running perfectly, but for right now, it is running for everyone. So let me, let me show you how this works, okay? Um, let me share my screen. All right, let's go to uh, here. All right, so you should be looking at my Facebook profile. So once you've logged in, you've downloaded the extension from Chrome and you've logged in, you'll see a screen like this and it'll say sync and analyze. That's the only thing you'll see the first time you log in. There'll be other things you'll see later. Uh, one thing you can do is you can, um, change your settings for how far back you go to analyze. You can analyze back 15 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or 180. It'll be defaulted at 15. Um, I'm gonna do 90. It's gonna take a little while, but the time it takes for this to analyze um, is going to depend on how far back you go and also how many friends you have. Okay, I have 4,900 and some friends uh, and I'm going back 180 days. It's gonna take a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this button and you're gonna see the extension take over the computer and it's going to a portal and it's gonna spin. And it will spin for a few minutes, okay? It's 12.50 p.m. right now. I'm gonna pause the video. There's no need for you to sit here and stare at this spinning wheel. So I'm gonna pause the video and uh, the recording, I mean. And let me see if I can do that while this is going. Yep, I can pause the recording. And then once this has done its initial stage, then I'll come back on and I'll show you what the next step is because there's another thing you have to do after this initial run through that it does. All right, so I'm pausing now. Okay, so it's come back on here and you'll see it says synced, but you'll see it's only 49 of 1962, which is only two and a half percent of what it needs to do. It only took two minutes at 12.53 p.m., 12.52 it was when I started saying that. So we need to get the rest of this synced. So what you wanna do is you're gonna hit sync and analyze up here, okay? Um, you can only do this once a day, all right? It won't let you do this more than once a day. So, which is for your account protection, actually. Um, and you may not wanna do this more than once a week, who knows, but you can't do it more than once every 24 hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button and we're gonna see something else happen here, all right? Um, I'm gonna click sync and analyze. And now another window will open up and it'll say automated action. This tab is handled automatically by Genius Disconnector. Please do not close it. Okay, now you can do other things, um, but I want this to just run. So I'm gonna pause the video again. There's no need for you to stare at this screen or let me move these little zoom windows or at this screen. Um, and this one, you'll know when you're done. So these two tabs, just leave alone, let them do their thing. You may wanna go out to dinner. You may wanna go to bed, do this before you go to sleep, go grocery shopping, you know, whatever. Um, but just let it run and do its thing. Uh, this could take a little while. Um, so again, I'm gonna pause the video so you don't have to stare at the screen and I will come back once it has completed doing its thing. And right now we're at 12.53 p.m. And we'll pause. <clears throat> Okay, so let me get this zoom window. It's always in the way. Uh, it's 1257. Um, this page stopped and it still was at the two and a half percent, but I refreshed it, leaving, of course, this page alone, not, not closing it, not refreshing it, not doing anything. It is still scanning, um, but it said two and a half percent, but then the little wheel here stopped. I refreshed the page and it said 100% 04907. I think you just saw change 4906. That last one won't go. That is one of the minor glitches I mentioned that we're having, but it is working. So we can see, let's show you what all cool stuff you can do with this now, okay? So first thing, you've got all your friends on here. Um, the amount of time that we have is how long uh, they've been in the system since you started using Genius Disconnector, okay? So if you've been friends for 10 years, but you just started using Genius Disconnector 30 minutes ago, it's gonna say friendship age is 30 minutes. So this will get more accurate as time goes on and you have new friends coming on board that you're checking. So let me show you a couple of things you can do. One, first thing you can do is we can whitelist people. So like this guy's a partner of mine, uh, this guy's a high school buddy, uh, partner, 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 um, wife, okay, whoops. Check in the box, 
partner, uh, local friend from town, I can click those and I can hit add to whitelist. And uh, you'll see we have a whitelist area. And um, the only thing I can do here, I can't do other actions other than remove them. And that doesn't remove them as friends. It only removes them from whitelist. Like, oh, I didn't mean for, uh, you know, this guy to be whitelisted. I can check that remove and he'll just go back to a friend uh, that's not. Now we can show more people on this page. You'll see there are only 10 down here at the lower right-hand corner. Um, I can show up to all 5,000 people. Uh, probably chunks of 100 are easiest to work with. Um, you know, so I can, you know, I can come down here if I want and, and just automatically see people that I want to uh, whitelist. But um, what we're going to do here, a couple of things we're going to do. Uh, lost, I don't have any lost or people that were that are no longer friends that were in the system that aren't anymore. Um, that checks this, checks the database, and it'll say, hey, they were friends earlier, but they're not. If they were unfriended by the system, by Genius Disconnector, they'll come show up and unfriended. If you unfriended them manually, or if they just said, hey, I don't wanna be friends with this person anymore, um, you'll see them in Lost. That may be a way to find out who has is, who is unfriended you uh, that you may not have known about. But what I wanna show you first is this deactivated. Now there's only one in here because I've actually been testing the software. Um, deactivated means they're no longer on Facebook, whether Facebook locked them or whether they just deactivated their profile. Uh, they're not available to communicate because there's nothing there, okay? So um, a good thing to do with those is keep those unfriended. Clean those out, okay? There is no need for those to, um, there is no need for those ever. I think it opened to that. Yeah, see, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have closed that yet. Um, it opened to this page and it'll go through an, it, on a delay like eight to 16 seconds or something like that. It'll let a timer down. So if you click a whole bunch of them, um, it won't delete them all at once. Facebook will go, what in the world's going on there? It'll it'll delete them once in a while. And so we're in the deactivated tab. No data found. Great. There are no more people deactivated that we need to get rid of. Keep those out. They're not worth your time. If they're constantly getting locked by Facebook, you're not going to be able to interact with them. It wipes out their messenger. It wipes out everything. Um, if they've deactivated their profile, again, they're not somebody active on, on uh Facebook, and they're probably not someone that is in your target audience if that's the case. So keep them clean. The whole purpose of Genius Disconnector is to keep this with people that are engaged, that are reacting to your posts, that are adding comments to your posts, that are messaging you. You know, you can see the glance if they have a conversation, if they're active, that kind of thing. So um, that's the whole purpose of this. If you, all your people are engaged, your post will get shown to more people. If none of your people engage, your posts aren't going to be seen. So if they're deactivated, right, which we don't have any anymore because we got rid of them, unfriend them because they're just taking up space and they're killing your Facebook algorithm. All right. So um, let's show you how to unfriend people. We can sort these. OK, so let's say I want to sort by reactions. OK, and remember, I'm only sorting by whatever I've got down here. So this is out of this group of 100. Uh, here's a guy that within the last and if you're not sure what you're doing, remember, you can go up here, look at your. Uh, look at your settings, all right, back 90 days. Within the last 90 days, this guy has not messaged me, is not commented on the post, has not reacted to anything. There's no need for me to have him as a friend. Uh, this guy hasn't done a whole lot. And again, this sorting, the, the, the first three or four aren't going to be accurate for whatever reason. Um, so again, that's one of the minor things we're fixing, but then you'll see it's, it's fine after that. Actually, in the default changed to 10. So let's change that. So, so this guy here, um, I should probably unfriend, and I can just click that, and it'll go do the one-time thing. I'll show you how to do multiple ones once it's gotten uh, Bob out of there. Actually, I can come back here while it's doing that. We'll we'll take a look here. So, um, this person has I've had communications with. He's commented. Um, this person hasn't in the last ninety days. I've had lots of conversations with him. I don't want to get rid of him. I know who he is. I don't want to unfriend him. I don't really want to whitelist him at the moment. Um, but, okay, and then once you're past these three or four, now you can see there's 100 here. So let's just, we're, we're sorting by comments. No comments, no nothing. So I don't, this guy's not even active right now. I'm going to take him off. I've had conversations with him. I may want to go look at that conversation. I can click this. Okay, I'm not going to do it because there might have been something private there. I can click message. Messenger will open up. I can see what the conversation was. I can say, oh, yeah, I want to keep him for a while. Or I can say, oh, he wasn't interested in anything I had. There's no point in keeping him. And um, you can just click the box. Here's someone, no interaction in the last 90 days, no interaction in the last 90 days, no interaction in the last 90 days. 
okay, et cetera. So I'm not going to make this too long. So we hit unfriend on the ones that we've selected. Now it'll open this window. Now look at this, okay? Now what we're going to see is uh, who they're unfriending. And I'll show you what, why we now have a bar there. And I can pause this if I want to take a break. I can stop if I need to go on and do other things or if I don't, uh, I don't want to continue. But you can see, see this progress bar here now. That's based on how many I have. So we're about 25% through, it looks like, because I, uh, or 20% maybe because I had four or five selected. But it's just going through and um, unfriending these people. Yeah, it looks half. So it was four of them. So that's what it's doing. Um, and that's how you keep your, your thing clean. You can see your, your interaction. You can see your engagement. I'm just going to let this play out and do its thing. Now we're uh, un unfriending this last person. But because you can click on their profile, you can take a closer look. So you can go down and if you just want to willy-nilly unfriend people because they hadn't commented, great, or they haven't reacted or anything, that's great. But what I usually do is if they have messaged me, I'll check a message because it may be someone, this will refresh this page here, you see now we have six people in unfriended. Um, so it's a great way. You can analyze this by comments. You can analyze it by messages. Um, and uh, of course, the nice thing again is you can um, you can click the name there and go see their profile. You can click messenger uh, message. You can go back and see what messages you've had with these people and do a little bit more analysis if you want. Um, so that's that. Uh, because we recently did it, there's nothing here, but normally what will happen uh, when you go back to this home screen or you log back in, you'll see a sync and analyze and you'll see a dashboard page. The dashboard page, actually, I think if I close this, that will probably, it's probably not, yeah, it, it, and of course, I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, <laughs> it's brand new. So anyway, you've seen what we need to see. Um, let me stop sharing my screen there. So that's, that's how that works. Um, you'll see a dashboard page when you open it back up. And you can, it just did it for me. Um, so I need to wait a little bit more time or maybe log out and back in. We have a couple of little minor, minor bugs. Now's the time to get on board. Um, so if you're watching this on a sales page, hit the buy button below if you want to grab it. Uh, after you get the extension, you'll be taken to a partnership opportunity. If you'd like to help share the message, we do have reseller opportunities available. Um, and then whether you take that or you don't take that, it'll take you to a thank you page with all of your instructions. You'll get an email with all of your instructions. Um, and if you need anything, let me know. Uh, also, uh, if you're seeing it somewhere else out on YouTube or something, then the link to the, the page should be wherever you see this video. So have fun with it. Um, this is November 29th. I'm making this recording. So uh, if you get it now, while we have really early bird pricing, um, we may have an update or two coming in the next week or two to fix some of the minor little bugs. Um, and if you're watching it later, it'll probably all be working perfectly, but the price will be a little higher to reflect that. So um, your choice, no pressure, no rush. If you have questions, hit me up, let me know. Happy to answer them before you purchase anything. Totally up to you. Um, if it's something you can use, great. And if not, that's fine too. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you on the flip side.